Hi, Andre Adams here from Andre's Home Cooking. Today, I'm going to make mango sticky rice. I found this recipe in complete Thai cooking book, which I borrowed from the Montgomery City County Public Library System. So, MCCPL, I'm going to cook from your book. Thank you for watching, and for more home cooking recipe like this, please go to my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. Now, let's get started. For the rice, you will need to find sweet rice or often say glutinous rice. We will need to add a cup of sweet rice, but first you have to rinse under the water a few times, just like this. And then we are going to soak the rice for 4 hours to overnight. I prefer to do this the night before. After soaking overnight, drain and rinse the rice well. Next, I'm going to wrap the rice with a clean tea towel or you can also use a cheesecloth. And then we are going to cook the rice in a steamer for about 25 to 30 minutes. Give the rice a good stir halfway through steaming to make sure it's evenly cooked. Meanwhile, we are going to make the coconut mixture. Combine the one and a quarter cup of coconut milk with three quarter cup of palm sugar. Or you can use a light brown sugar if you don't have it. Cook it on low heat just until the sugar dissolves and a little bit pinch of salt. And when the rice is cooked, I'm going to transfer it into a bowl. Next, we're going to pour the coconut mixture all over the rice and then stir it to achieve a creamy consistency. Then cover it and leave it to stand at room temperature for 30 minutes. Next, we are going to make the extra sweet and salty coconut sauce. In a saucepan, combine 2 cups of coconut milk, 2 quarter cup of sugar, or you can add more if you like it sweeter, and then a teaspoon of salt. You're going to cook this again until the sugar dissolves. To thicken the sauce, mix 2 teaspoons of rice flour and 4 teaspoons of water. Mix it all and then we're going to add it into the coconut sauce. When the sauce is thickened, you can turn off the heat and set it aside. Okay, finally it's time to plate. I'm using a mold for the rice just to make it look pretty. You don't have to. Peel and slice the mangoes and you're gonna arrange attractively on the side of the rice. And don't forget the warm, sweet and salty coconut sauce all over. Oh my god, I cannot wait to taste this. Lastly, garnish with a toasted sesame seed. Yum! Okay, there you go guys. Mango sticky rice from Complete Thai Cooking Book. I hope you try the recipe. It's so yummy. I'll see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.